Okay, uh, here we are. It's Friday morning, super early, and the puppies are having their breakfast. And <laughs> as you can see, I think they like laying in the food more than they actually like putting it in their tummies, but that's okay. <laughs> Most of them have already fed. I give them a little bit more than normal because mommy will come in here and eat after it. And they do like the soft food, but they still tend to, to go for mommy's side of the bowl too. Uh, <laughs> they'll actually pick up the, the hard kibble and they'll just carry it around in their mouth. They're not really 100% on what to do with it. Let's see, who's visiting me? Oh, it's my Jude. He's my little Judy boy. Oh, he's so sweet. Good morning, babies. Good morning, Abby. Hey, Pumpkin. Good morning, Ringo. I see you down there. <laughs> He's like, pay attention to me. Jude is so precious. He's the actually the first one to start giving me kisses. And yeah, he's my buddy. We just hang, hang out. The other puppies go and play and he'll just jump in my lap. Here comes Abby. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, these babies, they love attention. Mm-hmm. They all love attention. I do. I love to get attention from you. Yeah. So we've got uh, someone interested in Abby and Eleanor, and so it's very possible by the end of the day, one of them will have a home in Mobile, which we're really excited for them. Yeah, we really are. And if that's the case, then we would only have two tries left. It'll be one female and one male. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to help these guys eat a little bit more, and I'm going to try to video um, here in just a minute, see if I can get them to start playing again, because they are so much fun to watch. Yes, you are. You want a belly rub? Huh? I see you guys. <laughs> like, mm -mm. Pay attention. Hey, Skylar. Hey, beautiful girl. Morning, Mackenzie. Mm-hmm. All right, can you give me five? No, <laughs> you're not sure what that is yet, are you? Oh, and, and uh, I've just cleaned out the potty pad, but we've actually had some good success uh, yesterday and the day before. They've, I don't know if it's just by accident, but we've been working on it. Every time that they wake up in the morning, um, I'll put them on the potty pad because that's normally when puppies need to go the, the most is after they wake up in the morning, after they wake up after any naps and you know 10 or 15 minutes after they eat and drink water so um, that's actually something to help you guys out so whenever you bring your babies home you'll kind of have an idea of when the best time is to uh, to put them on the, the potty pads um, I actually I'm so overprotective of these babies of all of my babies that I, I won't let them out of uh, the house without at least a couple of vaccinations in them there's some uh, bad contagious diseases, even if they have the uh, the first couple of sets of vaccinations, they're still prone to getting it because you're really, you're building up that immune system, but that doesn't mean that they're completely immune to it as of yet. Um, so anyway, uh, if you want to take your puppies outside, that's, that's totally up to you. But I normally wait until at least after the second vaccination, just to at least know that there's two vaccinations inside of them. And again, I'm just really overly cautious. Uh, these babies are so precious to me, and there's so many bad things out there that they can catch, and it just, you know, better safe than sorry. No heartache, because that's the worst feeling in the world is losing it, losing a pet. It's no fun at all, is it, Skylar? No. <laughs> hey, Abby Doodle. Yeah. Hey, Eleanor. All right, Mackenzie. Say hello to your mommy in Tennessee. Say hello to your mommy in Tennessee. Yeah. And you say hello to your mommies and daddies and your new family in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, we're getting frisky. Are we getting frisky? 
uh, the babies are learning how to vocalize. They just learned how to bark, and now they're learning how to growl, but they're not really sure what context to put it in. So it's really cute. They'll be playing and licking you, and then they'll be growling at the same time, and they're like, uh. So I just think that they they know the no or they they know how to do the noise. They just don't know how to apply it yet. So it's really funny. Isn't it, baby? Isn't it? Hey, Blinkin. Hey, McKenzie. Oh, such a pretty girl. Look at that pretty face. Mm-hmm. With that little heart on your head. Oh, yes. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah. That's a good girl. You can give me five? Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> Gigi waving. You waving to the camera? Well, they might be getting frisky right now. Let's I want to keep the camera rolling for just a little bit. Good man. Good man. I'm playing with my camera strap. Isn't that right, Abby? Abby Doodle. Hmm. Goodness. What's going on over here? So far, uh, Skylar has the most uh, playful personality, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to have other other playful personalities. She's just the first one to come out of her shell. Um, she likes to play with uh, Sweet Pea, which is our 11-week-old uh, American Eskimo. And, <laughs> and so maybe it's just having that. These babies normally like to get in my lap. What you doing, Eleanor? You are getting frisky. Yeah. Hey, Pumpkin. Hey. See if I can get the camera in focus. Yeah. Well, bless you, Jude. Bless you. Yeah. Oh, stretch it out, Ringo. Oh, it's stretch it out, McKinsey. Oh, get that belly rub. I'm gonna get that belly rub. You gonna play the banjo? Play that banjo. Play the banjo. Here to see. Oh, there you go. You play that banjo. Bless you, Eleanor. Hmm. <laughs> the puppies have been sneezing since they've been trying out the water for the first time. Uh, when they feed from mommy, they curl their tongue and suck uh, to get the milk out of the teat. So they're learning how to lap it up with their tongue when they drink in water. And so uh, it's a new experience. They, they've been watching mommy and I uh, trying to figure out exactly how the whole water thing works. Uh, they're still getting a lot of, uh, of moisture from uh, the food that I give them. There's tons of water in it. And of course they're feeding for mommy every day. So Yes, these babies are so loved and taken care of. Yeah, get our boys playing. And you hear my little Yorkie in the background wanting to come in because she likes to eat the puppy food too. I hear you, Ziggers. I hear you, Ziggy Doodle. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Say hey, Tanya. Hey, Mommy. I can't wait to meet you. Oh, that's a good girl going potty on the potty pad, Abby. Yeah. What a good girl. That's something else that you guys need to remember is that whenever they do something good, please praise them and let them know that they're doing good. Let them feel like they are the number one um, if you see that they've messed in the house, but you're not catching them in the act, don't get on to them because you're only going to confuse them. They have no idea if you see something in the floor and it happened like 10 minutes ago and you start to yell or, you know, whatever, whatever kind of method that you like to use. Um, the way that I actually like to, um, discipline the babies, uh, and, or any dog actually is just to use... A stern voice it doesn't have to be mean um, but they know 
they know when they do things good and when they do things bad just by the inflection of your voice. There's no need to to rub their nose in anything, you know. There's no need to yell or smack them in the face with a newspaper or whatever kind of barbaric things that people used to tell you to do. Um, this breed is so intelligent. They know what's going on. They can read you sometimes better than you can read yourself. Um, Django, when I was sick, uh, he laid right beside me and would not leave me until I got out of bed. And it was just like, I mean, he just warmed my heart. I think he actually helped me get better. But uh, the Aussies, super, super smart babies. They we so smart. We so smart. Aren't you, Skylar? Yeah, can you give me five? Not yet. Give me five. Well, we've been working on commands like potty and come here, but give me five is something that I'm just trying to start today. So, um, great way to reward them besides praising uh, is treats with these little babies when you get them really small. You know, don't give them anything too big, uh, just little tiny treats. I get the soft mor morsels and then I um, actually break them up into a bunch of little pieces. Because they know when they get that taste that they're that they're uh, that they're being rewarded, so it doesn't have to be, you know, like a steak or anything. But uh, I'm sure you guys you guys know how to train. Um, I'm just trying to help out those that might be first time puppy owners. Um, also, any questions that you guys have, even after you have your puppy for many years, if you want to get back in touch with me. Um, always around i mean and and please 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 send me updated pictures let me know how they're doing um these babies are my life i mean it it kills me every time they go to their new homes and really the only thing that makes it easy for me is is going through the questionnaire process you guys letting me know what their environment's going to be like and and it reassures me letting me know that they're not you know they're, they're leaving a loving place and going to just as loving of a place. Um, so anyway, I told you guys I was going to put this camera down like, I don't know, many minutes ago. And so <laughs> it's just so hard. It's so hard not to record you guys. Yeah. You wrapped up? Are you wrapped up? I'm sorry, baby. Hold on, Mackenzie. Let me get that. <laughs> Let me get that. We got all kinds of babies tangled up. Okay, we got you, Skylar, Eleanor. Okay, let's see. All right, y'all do something cute for the finale. Do something cute. I don't know, Ringo, that's pretty cute. Yeah, Mackenzie, that's pretty cute, baby. <laughs> get that butt. I'm gonna scratch it, yeah. Oh, and they're starting, look at this. Look how much fluffy they've gotten. Oh yeah. They're gonna have really pretty coats like their mommy and, and daddy. Oh. What did you do, Abby? Yeah. You are precious. Bless you. Bless you. And these two are inseparable. They came out one after another, so I imagine they were probably hanging out in the in the womb, <laughs> you know, trading stories and whatnot. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mackenzie? Isn't that right, Sugar Plum? Yeah. Oh, these papers are going to get spoiled. Uh, most most of the ones that leave here absolutely adore belly rubs, so that's got to be something that you guys do. On a regular basis. Uh-huh. Nah. -huh. Hmm, goodness, monkey. Okay, for serious, I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down. I am. Stop being cute. No, never stop being cute. <laughs> oh, look at that little face. Oh, yeah. You guys just melt my heart. Just melted up. 